Hi, welcome back to Billings Farm at Home. I'm Adele. We've now reached the fifth and final step in our sheep to scarf project. It's time to weave the scarf. But there's another time consuming and detailed aspect of weaving that has to be completed first. And that's winding a warp and dressing the loom. So I've decided that our finished scarf should measure about 48 inches in length and 10 inches in width. I'm going to be weaving it on this little loom because the loom can certainly accommodate the width of the scarf. And I also want to weave it on this loom because the loom has four harnesses and six treadles, which allows me a lot of flexibility when it comes to choosing a weaving pattern. And I'll explain more about that later. Now the first thing I have to calculate is how long my warp needs to be. And when I say warp, I'm referring to the vertical threads on the loom, the ones that run from the back beam here to the front beam or the cloth beam. The warp is very, very important. It needs to be strong, reliable, and it needs to be evenly tensioned because it really serves as the foundation for what you're going to weave. So to figure my warp length, I'm going to start, I know I need 48 inches for the finished length of my scarf. I've decided that I'm going to add about 4 inches of fringe on either end, so that's another 8 inches. The warp itself kind of shrinks anyway as you're weaving it, so I'm going to figure 5 inches for shrink or take up. Um, you always want to put some waste on your loom. It varies depending upon the size of the loom, but you do that because you never actually can weave to the very end of your warp. And then I'm going to add another 8 inches for sampling because I want to try out some different weave patterns and see which one I like the best. So if you add all these up, that comes to 105 inches. If I divide by 36, that's 2.9 yard, yards. I'm going to round it up to 3 yards, so I know that my warp needs to be 3 yards long. This is what I'm going to use for warp. This is called Tencel. It's actually considered a natural renewable fiber because it's made from wood pulp. Now remember I said that the warp has to be very strong. This is actually quite strong. It has a nice silky feel to it, has a little bit of sheen, and it drapes nicely. It's not very stiff, so it will make our scarf hopefully drape nicely. And um, hopefully it will also complement our hand spun wool that we'll be weaving with. Now I need to figure out how many warp ends I need or individual warp threads on my loom. We know that the finished width of the scarf is going to be 10 inches. I'm going to add another inch in width because there's always draw in on the edge when you're weaving. So that gives me a half an inch draw in for either edge on the scarf. That gives us 11 inches. And then because this tensel is quite fine, I'm going to figure that I need 24 ends per inch or 24 warp threads per inch of width. So 11 times 24 comes out to 264 ends. And then I'm going to add an additional two ends, one for either edge, because I want the edges to be strong. They're under quite a lot of stress during the actual weaving. So that comes out to a total of 266 ends. And I know each one of those ends or warp threads has to be three yards long. So having done the warp calculations, now I'm ready to wind the warp. So this is my warping board. It's basically a frame with pegs that are set horizontally about a yard apart from each other. So I'm going to use, this is not warp thread obviously, I'm just using it so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to start on that peg. I'm going to go underneath this peg. That's one yard, two yards, three yards. 
because we have to make our warp three yards long. So that represents one warp end. Now I'm going to come back this way, one yard, two yards, three yards. And when I get to this point, I'm going to go under this peg, over this peg. And that's so my um, warp threads are in order. You don't get confused. So under this peg, over this peg, going this way. And then going back, I'll do the opposite. So anyway, that is how I'm going to wind the warp. has been completed and it's been wound onto the back beam of the loom. So now I'm starting to thread the loom. When I do that, I tend to keep the rattle, this piece of equipment, on the loom. That's what helps me spread the warp threads evenly onto the back beam when I'm winding it on. And I also keep these leaf sticks on the loom because they keep all the warp threads in order. I don't want any crossed warp threads on my loom. When threading a loom, each warp thread or warp end is passed through a heddle. These are heddles. They're like big needles except the eye is in the center of the heddle. The heddles set in, are set inside frames that are called harnesses or shafts. And these frames are attached to treadles that allow them to go up and down. So the way the loom is threaded, the way the harnesses are attached to the treadles, and the treadling sequence gives you different weaving patterns. I'm threading my loom in a very simple 4321, 4321 pattern because it gives me a fairly flexible range of weaving patterns. I finished threading the loom, so now it's time to slay the reed. This is the reed, it fits into the beater of the loom. Reeds come in different sizes. This is a 12 dent reed. The, reed. the dents refer to the openings in the reed. So there are 12 openings per inch in this reed. Since the warp was wound at 24 warp ends per inch, what I'm doing is pulling two warp ends through each dent in the reed. And I'll do that all across the reed. And once I've finished with that, I'll tie the ends on to the front of my loom, and then finally I can start weaving. To start, I sampled some weaving patterns. Then I wove a four inch header using toilet paper to account for four inches of fringe at this end of the scarf. Next, I used some of the warp thread to weave a narrow border and then hem stitched it, securing little bundles of warp thread for the fringe. To weave the body of the scarf, I'm using a very simple weaving pattern called basket weave. If you remember how I threaded the loom, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, through the four harnesses, um, I tied harness one and two to one of my treadles, so when I step on that, all the threads in the first and second harness are raised, and then I tied my other treadle to the third and fourth harness. So all the threads, the warp threads in three and four rise when I press that treadle. So the way I weave or add the weft, which are the horizontal threads to um, the weaving, is I'll start by pressing down the first treadle, the one and two threads are raised, send my shuttle through what's called the shed or opening. Just gonna very um, lightly have this touch the outside warp thread, the salvage. I'm gonna switch treadles and I'm going to beat. 
Then I'm gonna take my shuttle, go through the opposite way, just very gently caress that salvage thread, switch treadles, and beat. And this is basically how I'm going to continue to weave through to the other end of the scarf. I've now woven about half the scarf, and as I've been weaving, I've been advancing the warp by disengaging the break on the loom, unrolling a little bit of the warp off the back beam, and rolling a little bit of the woven fabric onto the front beam or the cloth beam. And I'll continue to do that until I've woven all 48 inches of the scarf. The weaving is finished. It's now time to take the scarf off the loom. Once I do that, I'm going to let the fabric rest a little bit because as tension is removed from the warp threads and the weft threads, they're going to want to rest and relax and move around a little bit. Um, next, I will trim off some of the excess, the waste warp, and I will remove the heading and sampling that I did at the beginning of the scarf. Then I'll wash it by hand very carefully. I'll let it line dry. I will trim the fringe, and then I will press it as needed, and it should be ready for its debut. And this is the completed scarf. We hope you've enjoyed our Sheep to Scarf project and hope you have a better understanding and appreciation of all the steps involved in transforming a fiber source into a finished product.